Hi Tron Dancers! Welcome to our Let's Trip Studio tutorial. Today I would like to show you all basic functions of our software. So let's start. This is our workspace. Our workspace consists of more different parts. First, we have here our preview window. In this window, you can see all your effects in a real time. Then, we have here our effect library. In a library, there are saved all your created effects, so you can always use them again. Also, when you click on some effect, you can see it in a preview window. To make it more clear, we have created a banks. So you can sort your effects to the banks, according to their color or number of the dancers. Under the preview window, you can see some additional settings. For example, you can quickly adjust here a brightness. Really important part of our workspace is our timeline. Here you basically synchronize the effects with the music. Of course, you can zoom it in and out. Really good thing is that you can see here the music waveform. This is super helpful when you are fitting the effects to the beats. In the LED shows, it's really important to hit the beats on time. You can work with more shows in one workspace. In these panels, you can quickly switch them. If you don't like a color of your music waveform, you can easily change it. Just go to other, choose software settings, and now you can choose any color that you like. Let's say we want to make it yellow, we confirm it with cross and your color is changed. The last thing I will tell you about the workspace is that it's fully adjustable. So if you cannot see the effects on your timeline because it is too small, you can just make your timeline bigger. But then maybe you want to focus on preview window. So you can change it again and adjust your workspace however you like. After opening your workspace, the first thing that you need to do is to insert the background picture. You just go to Mapping, click on File and open the background. Then find the background picture in your computer and open it. Confirm it with Exit and you see your background picture was inserted. For creating a show, you also need the music. For inserting the music, you go to synchronization panel on the right side. In case this panel is not in your workspace, you just go to view and you need to activate it. Here you have three possibilities, clock, audio and MTC. You need to have audio selected. In audio, you just click on browse and find the music that you want to use in your computer. Our program supports WAV files, but if you insert MP3 file, it will be automatically converted. And voila, the music is inserted. Now, when everything is ready, we can start creating a show. First I will show you how to create a scene. We can create a new bank for our scene. Click on Add in the bank section and your bank is created. Now we can start creating the scenes. You just click on Add Strip and your scene is created. You open the scene by clicking on this yellow pencil or you can just use your right mouse button, what is actually faster. There are two ways how to create the effect. I'll show you both and then you can choose what is better for you. First way is to create it in settings. Choose the part of the body that you want to make glow. Click on Add Animation. Double click on this line. And then you can select the color. Let's say we want to make it red. And we just confirm it. You see, your part is already red. If you want to use the same effect for the other parts, you can just use the drag and drop system to give the same effect to many other body parts. The effect can be also copied with the copy-paste keyboard shortcuts, then select where you want to use this effect and paste it. You see, and the whole dancer is red as well. So this is the first way of creating the effects. You see, you just confirm it with cross and your effect is already created. As I told you, there is another way of creating the effect. 
Again you go to Add Strip, open the scene, but here you need to select Animation Library and make sure you are working with analog colors. If there are selected digital colors, just change it back to analog. Again, you just select the dancers that you want to make glow and give them the color. You can either give them the color by clicking on this green plus or there are shortcuts. So you don't have to click on anything, you just use the keyboard shortcut and your color is applied. Confirm with OK and your effect is created. To make your work more clean, you can also change the name of the scenes. Just open it, go to settings and change the name however you like. When I close it, you see that the name was changed. It is possible to use many colors within one dancer. You can control each body part separately. I can show you one example. Now I will focus on one dancer so I can zoom this window in and start coloring. By holding the CTRL button, you can pick more body parts at the same time. When I want to use some color, I don't click on the colors anymore. I'm just using the shortcuts, what makes my work much faster. You can really create any combination that you like. And here you can see that your effect was created. You can make the same thing with more dancers. Again, by holding the CTRL button, choose the body parts that you want to make glow on the same color and use the shortcuts to apply the color. This allows you to create interesting effects in a short time. And here is the result. It is possible to combine more colors within one animation. Don't forget that you have to have analog colors selected. Click on Add Animation, choose Analog and confirm it. When you scroll down, you see that your animation was created. Open the animation with a yellow pencil and double click on this line. Put the marker to the middle and you can create any color by inserting RGB numbers. Let's say we want to create magenta. Double click on this line again. Put the second marker to the middle as well. And now I want to show you that it is possible to select a color by using a color wheel. Let's use a yellow. Confirm it. And now you can also create a shortcut for your animation. Just click on this gray icon and insert the keyboard shortcut that you want to use for your animation. You just apply the animation and your animation is done. Now I will show you how to use the scenes. The system is easy. You just drag the scene and drop it to the timeline. With the right mouse button, you can prolong the scene or make it shorter. There are also layers. Now I will put there more scenes so you can see how it works. Maybe you have already noticed that the music waveform really helps you to fit the effects to the music precisely. Now I will play it so you can see what we have created. It is possible to change the existing effect on your timeline with a different one. I'll just easily drop it to the scene. The first effect in magenta color was replaced with the effect in red color, but the position and the length of the scene was not changed. With the layers, there is one rule. The lower layer has a priority. So if you layer more effects about each others, you can always see just the bottom one. Look, this is an example. I put this effect under all other effects and when I play it, just the bottom effect is visible. You can also make the dancer disappear. If you don't want to change the existing effect, you just create a new one and apply a black color to the dancer that you want to make disappear. Then you drag and drop this effect under your existing effect and when I play it, you can see that one dancer is blacked out. It's because the lower layer has a priority. It is good to rename this effect. In the future, you will know that the black color was used here. Of course, 
It is possible to fade in and fade out your effect. You just double click to the corner of the effect and drag it however you like. The same thing you do with the end of the effect. Now when I play it, you can see in the preview window that the dancers are fading in and fading out. But you can work with this however you want. Again, just double click on the line and you can create another interesting effect. There is the possibility to copy the effects on your timeline as well. You use the copy paste keyboard shortcuts and create as many effects as you want. After creating this, I will replace each effect with a different dancer. So now I am creating an effect where the dancers are going one by one in the same time period. When you have too many effects and you cannot find the effects which is used on your timeline in your library, just click on the effect and this effect will be highlighted in your library as well. So now you can change it if you want. It can happen to you that there are just too many created scenes. But we have a solution for you. There is a feature which allows you to delete all scenes which are not used on your timeline. So just open the tools, go to other and select remove unused scenes. All scenes which weren't used in your timeline just disappeared. There is also a possibility to create a strobe effect. Again just open the scene, select the dancer that you want to make glow and click on add animation. You are creating an analog animation. When you scroll it down, you see that your animation was created. Open the animation with a yellow pencil. Double click on this line and put the marker to the middle. Then you can set some color. Let's say that for this animation we're gonna use blue. You double click on this line again and put this marker to the middle as well. The second color will be black because we want to create a blinking effect. We just confirm it, we edit and we close it. And you see, our dancer is blinking. Now we drag and drop this effect to the timeline and make the effect longer. I'm gonna play the scene and you see that the dancer is blinking to the music. But we can also adjust the speed of blinking. For this purpose, you will use the relative time. Open the relative end and choose how many times should the dancer blink during this time period. We will make him blink 6 times. You see that it hits the beats. Now let's try to make a double speed. So we want to make him blink 12 times during this time period. Another feature that can make your work easier is selection group. So how to do it? You just open the effect, you need to choose selection groups and select the body parts that you want to get together. Now for us, the selection group will be one dancer. You need to do it in exactly the same order as I am creating it. When you are done, click on this green plus and select the name when you click on your selection group, you can create a shortcut for your selection. Let's use shift plus number one. I can choose whatever, but when I hit on this keyboard shortcut, I always select dancer number one. You can create as many selection groups as you want. Now I'll do exactly the same with the dancer number two. I will select it, create a selection group, give it a name and create a shortcut. Now I can switch between these two dancers. I'll show you how to make an effect just using my keyboard. You go to animation library, I'll hit shift 1 to choose the dancer number 1 and then I'll use shift B to select the blue color. I'll confirm it with enter and the effect is created. I can create the new effect by changing the existing one, like here. 
I have here 7 dancers in red color and I black out 4 dancers. You see, the new effect is created. Now, when I play the show, I find out that the effect has already been used on my timeline and the effect on the timeline is changed as well, what wasn't my purpose. How can I change it? I go back to the effect, I copy the effect using the keyboard shortcuts and the new effect is successfully created. I do the same thing, I black out 4 dancers and then I will use the effect on my timeline. Now when I play it, you can see that the existing effect stayed unchanged and the new effect is successfully created. The last thing I will show you is how to create a video effect. You click on add video, here you hit this plus and select color effects. In this library you can find more different effects and each of them is fully adjustable. I can give you an example with this one. With dragging you can easily adjust it and you can see the actual effect in your preview. I move it up, rotate it and make it a little bit shorter. And you see, totally different effect was created. Also you can use the different colors. Open edit palette, click on the first marker and choose the starting color. Let's say that this color will be red. Now hit on the second marker and change this color as well. Let's say that this one will be blue. Each effect is invertible as well, so you can invert the direction of the effect. And this is the result. Like this you can create plenty of different interesting effects. You can also adjust the thickness of the effect. Again open edit palette, select the first marker and drag the marker to make the effect thinner. Do the same thing with the second marker. And when you close it, you see that the lines are much thinner, what has created a very interesting effect. Let's create one more effect and I will show you how to adjust it just on certain dancers. Again, I will give it some colors, let's say it will be red, confirm it if you want. You can also invert it and now you'll just drag the selection on the dancer that you want to make low. Another great thing is that you can also copy this effect. Now I'll use the keyboard shortcut, copy paste and I'll apply it to some other dancers. Be careful because the effect is applied on the all body parts which are covered with the effect. As you can see, by copying the effect, I apply the effect just on four dancers. There is also a possibility to rename the show. You just click on rename and insert the name that you want. And here you can see that your show has been renamed. The very last thing is how to save the show. You click on Let Strip Studio icon and choose Save As. Again, you type the name and confirm it. And voila, your show has been saved. I hope that this video helped you. Don't forget to subscribe our channel where you can find many other helpful videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.